This is a sight and a half. Both of my kids, especially Joshua, with a book in their hand. Super interested. Shosho's, of course, learning about her colors. I was reading to her right now, but I wanted to get it on camera to actually, like, prove to myself that, yes, my kids do read books. <laughs> And Joshua's reading a book called What to Expect When Using the Potty. Good morning. It is t Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. And um, I am actually, it's actually like almost Alyssa's nap time right now. In fact, it's way past her nap time. She should be in bed. She should be like well tucked in, asleep. But um, my daughter, you guys, <laughs> my daughter woke up. I was out here in the living room with Joshua, we were eating breakfast, and then I hear, ah! so I'm like, okay, Alyssa's is awake. I go to the room, oh crap, that reminds me, I gotta, yeah, I still gotta go disinfect that. Um, so I go to the room, and Alyssa is awake, she is holding her diaper in her hand, which Michael put her to bed. Um, I think she was just wearing a shirt, so she didn't have any bottoms on, and her diaper was like in her hand, hanging over her... <laughs> Her, her crib and like the turd was like halfway ready to fall out like, oh it was so it's such a mess it could have been worse it could have been worse it could have been like um sorry guys if this is tmi but like breast like breast milk poo you know what i mean breastfeeding mamas out there you know what i'm talking about it's never exactly like solid solid it's always kind of the soft squishy stuff that just kind of runs everywhere yeah it could have been that so I, uh, i'm at least grateful for that <laughs> but damn, that was a wake up call and a half if I've ever seen one. Um, I've got work tonight, which again, I'm sorry that um, the vlogs have been kind of, um, I don't know, in my opinion, they've just been kind of so-so lately. Just because I've been working a lot. I've been working a lot the past couple of weeks. Today and tomorrow are the last days. And then I'll go back to normal where I just go in on Sundays, which I can totally deal with that. But really just thrown this off the, the entire family off like I, I I didn't even get to see Michael yesterday he came home and it was like all right break now you gotta go and um, by the time we come home it's time to go to bed it's just really really thrown the entire family off so ugh. don't worry guys this there's no like harsh chemicals or anything in that so if I put Alyssa down in here right now she's not gonna like Play breaking bad on this and get high as hell no <laughs> um, um i don't know if you guys know this or not i talked about this before but i like to make all my own cleaners just recycle the bottles but i like to make all my own cleaners because not that they ever do but if for some reason my children decided that they wanted to go swimming <laughs> they want to go swimming in the in the in the uh the cleaning cupboard i won't have a total heart attack so I am making a soup today. Um, I th what I want to start doing now is um, have, because of how cold it is already here, and because of how rainy it is, there's nothing that like comforts you more than just like a nice, hot, big ass bowl of soup. <laughs> so I, um, what's it called? I'm getting all of my ingredients chopped up. It's gonna be really simple. It's just gonna be a chicken and vegetable soup. So I've got some zucchini squash right here got cut up I'm gonna cut up those two onions and then all of those um, red potatoes that are in here got some red purple cabbage I thought this was so it's such a pretty color I thought I, I just thought it would add a nice pretty color to the soup um, and then I'm gonna add some chicken a little bit of broth um, probably top it with like a nice big fat dollop of a plain Greek yogurt and it's gonna be delicious yo uber excited about that so um, should I put you on a tripod yeah today's makeup it's essentially the same thing I did yesterday I've been using the Maybelline 24-hour super stay makeup I'm loving that um, my skin's been acting out really bad I don't know if you guys can really see right here but um, how does graveyard girl say it I got some face demons <laughs> yeah I've got Mount Andy right here on my face and um, it's not a good time I never have skin issues so yeah essentially the same thing I went really lazy on the brows today I literally just took my pencil and just kind of just a little bit and um, on my lips I've got NYX or not NYX uh, L'Oreal Revlon Revlon's uh, Primrose and NYX perfect lip gloss and I'm continuing with my soup it's been about hmm, maybe four hours now 
that this has been cooking. All of my veggies are in there looking real, real sexy. I'm gonna go ahead and actually throw in my cabbage. Um, what's it called? Like I said, I don't like to put it in super, like I don't like to put it in throughout the entire cooking process. I really just kind of like to top it because I still like a little bit of crunch that the cabbage has. So I'm going to bring this back up to a boil and I'm gonna go ahead and shred my chicken. This is gonna be a hearty, hearty, hard, <laughs> hearty, hard, hard, hard. This is gonna be a really, really nice, thick, delicious soup. Like I said, just fat dollops, um, sour cream, Greek yogurt. We, we clean in this house, damn it. <laughs> uh, nice fat dollop of Greek yogurt on there. Plain, please. I would not recommend putting like vanilla. I hope you would know that. Um, and yeah, yeah, kids are sleeping. That looks like a mess out there, but I promise it's not. It's an organized mess. Everything, it just needs to be put away. But Joshua's asleep, so I don't want to go in his room. Alyssa's asleep in my room, so I don't want to go and wake her up. And Michael, I don't know if he vlogged this or not last night, but Michael put my shelves up. Thank you, babe. Um, I'm probably not going to have like this, what's on that shelf right there. I just threw it up there so that it's not like so blank. But I like, um, he did a good job. Oh my gosh, this picture's so old. This was, um, I think we had just moved to Portland maybe two days. We had only been in Portland for like two days and Joshua was so little. We were actually waiting in line at um, Voodoo Donuts. <laughs> Anywho, I'm really sad because my um, marshmallow fireside candle is, oh my God, when did I blow that out or is it done? No. smells like a sexy man in the fall time. Ugh, I'm so sad that this is done. Well, my now I'm even more sad. My marshmallow fireside candle is done. It makes me sad because there is a good amount of like um, wax in there still. So usually what I end up doing is um, I'll save this until I buy another one. And then um, before I start to burn that one, I'll just kind of melt this a little bit. Or actually what I do is I put it in hot water and um, it kind of softens up the wax a little bit. I'll put that, scoop that on top of the new candle, and that way I can, I mean, it, 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 there's a good amount of wax in here, damn it. Paid $20 for a freaking candle. My, I'm gonna I'm I'm burn every drop of that. <laughs> that and my, my soaps, my foaming soaps are just about done, so I need to go. Baby, looks like we're headed to Bath and Body Works sometime this week. Probably Saturday. Hopefully, let's, let's, let's plan on Saturday, yeah, baby doll? All right, guys, so I am sleepier than sleepy. Um, I think I've said this about a million times, but I'm gonna say a million and one. I've got, I've been, I feel like I'm gaining weight, and a lot of it probably has to do with the, my sleeping schedule and the fact that I'm just, I am gonna set you right here. Whew. A lot of it, I'm sure, has to do with the fact that I'm just not getting, um, today. The fact that I'm not getting the sleep that I need. So I'm gonna make me some liquid crack. Nice little non-fat sugar free vanilla latte. And um, I'm gonna show you how to make a latte. So first thing you do, you are going to put your syrup into your cup. I have got a sugar free vanilla right here. This is by Monin. Oh, no wonder I don't like it. I usually like the Tarani ones, but we don't got it. So this is sugar free. There are no calories, no fat, blah, blah, blah. So go ahead, put that into my cup. I do about an ounce, so that for this size is about two, maybe two and a half pumps, just depending. Everybody does a little bit different. Okay, so now you probably can't see me, but this little baby here, you're gonna take your coffee. Everybody's got a different amount that they like to put. So you got all your coffee right here. I'm hoping you guys can see this because I know this is a little bit awkward to film. And then you're gonna take your little tamp thingy right here. Hello, and you're gonna tamp this down. Ugh. Basically, this is pressurizing the coffee. That way the water really has to force its way through and um, makes it nice and strong trying to speak in layman's terms. I don't want to get too scientifical on you guys. All right. There 
is that. So now, this here is my little espresso machine. Haha. -ha. Actually, I already did this, but I'll show you. You just press the button, water comes out through there. You want to make sure that there's no extra water or um, old coffee. You don't want to make sure that there's any old coffee in there because whatever is stuck in there has already been used and um, it will probably end up burning because the water is really hot. So now, taking my shot glasses, throwing them there. Gonna let that little puppy go. And while that is happening, I'm going to steam my milk. So this little puppy here, this little wand, if I pull this, oh shit, hold on, it lit on all kinds of water. That was supposed to be steam. There we go. It takes a couple seconds for it to get working sometimes. <laughs> that was really bad. Wow. Way to be graceful in. All right. Now, a lot of people use a thermometer. I've been doing this for so long that I can actually hear right about when the milk is ready. Quick tip in case you guys don't know, you never wanna let your milk um, get past 180 degrees because it burns and then it doesn't taste good. And that is very good. Woohoo, nice and frothy, nice and frothy. I'm gonna bring this over here and just give it a couple love taps. Take my espresso right into this cup. Just two shots for tonight. I don't wanna be up all night. Just want to be up long enough. I'm gonna set you right there. There you are. And that, my friends, is how you make a sugar-free non-fat vanilla latte or whatever kind of flavor you want. That's, that's basically how you make a latte. So I'm home and I'm kind of sad because Michael just told me that they he put new episodes of How I Met Your Mother on Netflix. Speak you. Whatever. Started watching them without me. Well, to be fair, I asked him not to watch um, Parks and Recreation without me, but I didn't say anything about the other one, so. Yeah, exactly. I guess, technically. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, tonight was kind of a stressful night. Did you put it on the instant queue or the list or whatever it is? What? No, I didn't. You just have to search it. I didn't. Tonight was kind of a stressful night at work, but it is what it is. I'm home now, and um, I'm actually a little bit hungry, so I'm going to have me some of that soup that I made. I realized that I didn't show you guys. I swear I've been like focused on that all day long, is like making the soup, <laughs> and then I didn't even show them what it looks like. So... It probably doesn't look very appetizing from this angle, but um, it's it's delicious. Even Michael had it, and this right here is um, Greek, yogurt. Greek yogurt. Very, very good. It's really good because it's it's low calorie. It's good for you. It's got protein in it, and um, it just works. makes any of your like soup creamy. Oh, no, babe, that candle's done. It was, it's been going this entire time until right now. No, and in fact, two of them. I just finished another candle. Babe, that means you gotta go to Bath and Body Works. Uh, no, you still have a bunch of candles. I know, but we're out of the good ones. You still have a bunch of candles. Baby, I don't have a bunch of candles. Baby, that espresso is still pretty large. You still have a whole new one, one of the. Uh, well, no, I wanted to return. Cinnamon. I wanted to return that one because I didn't like it. The sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Yeah, it's not as strong as I want it to be. I would rather. Switch that one out for a marshmallow fireside or something. That well, one's not even. This one's stronger than that one. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Well, then I would rather switch it out for one of the the blueberry. Either way, I want to switch it out for something. Okay. Go exchange it for something. And the espresso one, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that anymore. So that's why I'm like savoring every drop of it. <laughs> you guys, I'm almost out of my candles. It makes me so sad to see that like that. Anywho. You ready? Yes, I am, baby. I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to go to bed. And that's going to do it for us. So thank you so much for watching. Michael's boxers. <laughs> I like them. It's like they're saying, kiss my ass. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, guys. I'll see you manana. Bye.